Welcome back from the article. Um, yeah, we kind of went over kind of Korea's problem mm -hmm. with population mm -hmm. and why things are having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, one of them is people are not having kids for various of reasons. Mm -hmm. And another is because there's a lot of uh, people who are not dying anymore, basically. And the age of, of oh, what's it called? The, the expectancy, life. life expectancy is actually increasing creating definitely a large amount of people who are older at the top and a very small amount of people who are younger at the bottom. That is not a good mm, shape for the economy mm -hmm. or for the health of a nation. And a lot of people might say, well, just let immigrants come in. But there's some troubles there too. So yeah, it's kind of a catch-22 or at least a difficult situation. And we don't know about Korea's future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's definitely uh, an interesting problem to try and solve. Um, uh, how does one increase a birth rate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, well, by having more kids is the simple answer. But mm -hmm. how can we make people have more kids? Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of ways you could do it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Some of them that the Korean government has tried and maybe not done so well on mm -hmm. are dating courses. Um, how do you date people? Uh, there also has been a little bit extra tax benefits for buying houses for newlyweds um, and trying to kind of lessen the economic load on those who are newlywed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think yeah. that, might, that might be uh, persuasive to some people, I think. Mm, yeah, very limited people. But I'm not sure. enough people, <laughs> yes, not enough people. Obviously not enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all know him. Some of us love him, some of us don't. His name is Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. He said that we should celebrate having kids. What does that mean? Elon Musk is a man who, who loves plenty of attention and he himself has seven kids. So when he says celebrate having kids, I think he wants people to praise him ah, for having so many children. I Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm showing my bias uh, <laughs> against Elon Musk there, mm -hmm. but um, so yes. So he wants, he wants people to look at his, by celebrating all kids, mm -hmm. they're going to celebrate him having kids. Yes. With whomever. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I think, he, yeah. I, I suspect this about many things he says that he's looking for, his own personal attention. I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you look at his hairline back in the 90s, there's a lot of personal attention that went into his current hairline. <laughs> yes. uh, nothing against you, Musk. Just um, money can buy looks sometimes. Mm. And it definitely bought you some hair. And that's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It looks a lot better. It does look a lot better. Mm. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I don't say I, I would be a lover of Musk. I mean, I never would in that way. But also in the way of like enjoying what he does and everything. But I do enjoy his ideas and kind of the direction he's taken technology. Mm. Yeah, regardless of who he is, I think that's been exciting in the least. Yeah, mm -hmm. for all his personality shortcomings, he makes up for in amazing technological ideas. What other reasons can you think of for falling fertility rates in South Korea? The article went over economic problems. Mm -hmm. The article went over just not wanting to have children, right? And I think those are the major issues of not wanting to have children. But overall, people really, I mean, to get a little bit more detail, people want to live their own life these days. And really, there's no incentive mm -hmm. to have children. And I don't mean incentive for economic ways, but just personal incentive, a future incentive. It's just not there to have children. Mm. Um, that sort of, and I do agree in Musk, with Musk in a certain way, I don't think we care to have or not have children as much anymore. They're not celebrated in the way of it's an important part of our culture anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, the culture is, you know, just enjoy life, be the best person you can. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to having children, that's not part of that equation. Mm -hmm. It could be for some and not for others. History of all this pressure to have more and more kids, all this pressure to start a family and the duty of becoming a parent. Mm. Well, this generation has said, nah, I'm not with that. I'm gonna rebel against that. I'm not gonna have kids. It's about me now. Mm. And that's part of it too. 
I think you're right. There is something of wanting to drop traditional duties, but also I think we understand parenting and how hard it is to parent、ah. well way better than we did in the past. So I think, in a way, we've got a much truer understanding. Of the daunting <laughs> task that becoming a great parent is and,、yes. and raising children really well,、um, yes. it's scarier now、mm -hmm. to become a parent、mm -hmm. than it ever was.、Um, yeah. In a way, we know too much. Yeah,、um, the man who knew too much. The, <laughs> yes, yes.、Um, mm -hmm. So yes.、Um, I oh, I could agree with that. The、yeah. burden feels heavier.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's finish off by taking a look at today's vocabulary. Of sorts. Of sorts. Childbearing. Childbearing. Conundrum. Conundrum. Status. Status. Sobering. Sobering.